Welcome back to MoGraphLast.com. In this lesson, we create some fabric materials. Um, I had in mind to create some translucent type of materials and car paint and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, the fact is you can find uh, a lot of type of translucent materials and car paint and hair type stuff uh, in your material assistant. Uh, so there is not going to be any need. You can just go ahead and select a um, specific type of translucent materials, for example, and convert that uh, type to advanced BSDF and walk yourself through different uh, parameters because we talked about those parameters and uh, the theory behind them. So there is no need really to go over those stuff again. And instead, I decided to go through something that is uh, kind of essential and uh, there is no way to find out how to create them uh, using material assistance. So uh, that's why I decided to go uh, about fabrics and we're going to be creating a few types of fabric like uh, cotton, like satin, like uh, I don't know, towel for example, leather. So let's get creating. I'm going to create a Maxwell material. Let's name it cotton. Open it using your MXED. Sorry, MXED here. There we go, and as you can see, I have this uh, sofa, this throw, this pillow here. So this is from our uh, realistic interior visualization in V-Ray 4C4, the industrial style room. You can find out more about that course in our website, mograflus.com. And here we have uh, this sofa null containing this throw, this sofa, and this pillow here, okay? So let's open it up using our MXED and start creating. So the first thing is you need to define a texture in your reflectance zero color click here so I'm going to be using this texture here so far diffuse and hit OK now what we know about fabric materials is if the surface becomes perpendicular to your viewing angle uh, it's going to be a bit more fuzzier and a bit more uh, brighter than the original texture so we're going to be uh, replicating this using our reflectance 90 color so let's drag this texture down here and I'm just going to make it brighter okay something like this here and let me change my preview scene again and update this is what we have at the moment let me just go to something like 95 maybe so even though now the roughness is very high so we're just going to get our reflectance zero color in order to get that uh, fuzziness uh, on edges I'm going to turn on my R2 and let's increase the R2 to something like 83 and update it and as you know and as you can see now the edges are brighter and fuzzier because of the texture that we have defined in our reflectance 90 color now I'm going to define a bump texture here so let me just click here and click here also you should have this sofa B which stands for bump let's open it up here and that's going to be our bump texture and let's go to something like 20 maybe and update this so as you can see now we have a very nice uh, cotton like a uh, texture and material here I'm just going to hit yes let's go ahead and actually apply it to our sofa here okay so let me delete this tag that I have on it and select this let's reduce its size to something like let's get to this maybe something like this would be um, there we go that's not too bad I think we still can decrease this value to something like 25 and 25 nah, that's a bit too much I guess let's go to 35 35 that's not too bad let's start fire and see what we're gonna get There we go, here is our beautiful realistic uh, material here. So that's about it. Let's get back here. And what we can do is create this time material like maybe um, a towel like material. So let's, uh, we can simply duplicate this material here. I'm just going to rename it to something like towel. And open it up I'm just going to create a simple blue towel so let's disable these textures and I'm going to use this blue here for my reflectance zero and a much more brighter version of the same blue 
for my reflectance 90. Update this. Let's get back to our stage two here. Obviously we don't need this bump, so let me just go ahead and disable it. So that's what we have at the moment. I can turn on my force fresnel because we are not using any texture at the moment and the material is very rough and by turning this force fresnel we're going to get these true blue colors that we have uh, defined here. If you're using a texture for reflecting 090 and you have a high roughness and you turn on force fresnel, it's going to uh, kind of change the color of your uh, textures and the colors on your texture are not going to be uh, truish. So here we are using these uh, colors and no texture so force fresnel could be easily uh, turned on to, uh, to get uh, you know much more uh, better representation of what you have defined here. So that is it and the only thing that remains is to define a good displacement map for your material and let's do that right click add displacement let's add a texture here let's use this texture this towel texture bump sort of we can update this okay that's not too bad i'm just going to change my unit to centimeter and let's reduce this value maybe to something like 1.5 here and let's update it again now it will depends on your uh, object that you want to apply this material to and this value could be enough could be very high could be very low so uh, we can decide after we actually applied this material to see whether it's going to work or not so that's our displacement map let me just uh, save this and let's select another one of these cameras as you can see, I have different cameras here for different angles and all of my cameras have this uh, Maxwell camera tag and they all have this pinhole lens type so we don't get any sort of uh, you know depth of field here. I can go ahead and make this uh, stage a bit bigger so let's just uh, go ahead and select this cube here. Let's make it a bit bigger on X here. Let me just this while you make sure we just have X enabled and that's not too bad okay I'm going to apply this to my throw here and let's open this and make sure we have the right texture this is a texture that you want to use and I'm going to decrease my length we to something like 20 maybe okay that's not too bad let's start fire and see what we're gonna get so here is our tall material. I mean, we still can work on our displacement map and possibly prepare a better displacement map, may maybe reduce the amount of displacement. But uh, this is the general approach to creating a you know, towel-like material. And let's go ahead and create something a bit more uh, kind of complex like a satin. So let's create a new Maxwell material and rename it. Let's open it up using our MXED and start working on it obviously change the preview stage and update this for reflectance 0 I'm going to use this color and for my reflectance 90 I'm going to use this color let me turn for, uh, force fresnel on and actually increase the ND to something like 7, 8 and let me turn on R2 go to something like 80 and I guess that's not too bad and also let's reduce our roughness to something like 50 and finally let's make our reflection a bit more uh, in a, a bit more linear fashion so let's uh, turn on an isotropy to something like 100 and that's a very kind of close to a satin material I guess so uh, this is what we did we have a roughness of 50 we turn on R2 to 80 so when we uh, decrease our uh, roughness we don't lose our main colors and we uh, turn R2 to about 80 so we get our uh, reflection 90 color in the edges and we finally turn on an isotropy so our reflections are a bit more directional and I think that uh, would make a good satin material let me just save this and apply it to my uh, throw here and let's render it and see what we get 
We just refresh here and wait for it. There we go. Here is our satin material, and as you can see, it's you know kind of nice and really realistic, and really it gives you the feel of a satin-like uh, fabric. So that's about it. Let's uh, maybe develop this material a bit more. I'm just going to duplicate this, and um, let's maybe satin and cotton here, and we can open it up using our Maxwell editor, and let's add a floral pattern on top of this satin. So create a new layer here that's going to be satin and this one is going to be our cotton. And let's maybe use the same colors here and I'm just going to make this brighter a bit and also turn on R2 and let's go to something like 80, maybe 82. And let's decrease off our roughness, something like 95, and turn on force finale. And if I update it, we're going to get a very simple material. And finally, I'm going to define a pattern for my opacity. So let's click here. And let's go with this pattern here. I'm just going to hit open. And let's click OK and see what we get. So as you can see now we have the satin and we have our cotton on top. I can go ahead and actually invert this map to get uh, an inverted result. So update it and now as you can see our satin is uh, our base layer and we have this cotton on top of it. I can go ahead and save it. Let's uh, apply this one to here. And this is a nice uh, distribution of this pattern. So let's uh, refresh our fire and see what we're going to get. So I let the render go for a few seconds and this is what we have. A bit noisy, but as you can see, it's a really nice and uh, believable and realistic material. And if I wanted to create an inverted version, I can simply go ahead and uh, let's this time use a Cinema 4D editor and turn off this invert, close it. And this way we are going to get the exact opposite of what we had before. And maybe I can define a bump for this uh, underneath cotton. So let's open up this folder. And maybe let's use this texture here for our bump. Close it. And let's go to something like maybe 10 here. Let's close this apply it here and let's refresh our fire so here is our result and you can go ahead and work on it a bit more so that's about our fabric materials and hopefully it was useful for you and I think I gave you a very general approach to create different types of fabric materials uh, and see you in the next lesson Thanks for watching this video tutorial. It was a free sample from our course Comprehensive Introduction to Maxwell Render for Cinema 4D. Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com and check the entire course out. See you in the next one.